Hello, Hip Vlogsters. Brian here, wishing all y'alls a happy Thursday and happy holidays, too. We're right before New Year's and Christmas just happened a little bit ago. By the way, only 363 days till Christmas. Previously on Hip Vlogsters, I had mentioned that uh, I was getting back with family and I just want everyone to know that, you know, things are going well and everything feels like it was. Everyone's back in the groove. And it feels normal again. It was uh, just a couple days after my last video, things just clicked. Everyone went back to how it was. So this week, I kind of wanted to talk about habits and just how powerful they can be. So some habits that I have personally is when I'm at home and I find my keys, it doesn't matter where I am in the house. If I have my keys on me, I have to go back to the garage, all the way back to the garage and put them on the third hook. I don't know why, it's just I've gotten into a habit of it, so I just have to do it. Another habit that I have while at home is uh, the fireplace. I have to stay in front of the fireplace. Even if I'm just passing through the room, I go I go there and I stand and I, I stand there for just like a second and then I'm like, oh wait, I don't need to be in this room and I'll walk out. But it could be like the middle of summer and be really hot and I'll just go and stand in front of the fireplace. Now, I've trained myself in the winter when it's really cold up here to go stand in front of the fireplace because it's warm. But it's the middle of summer, I don't have to be worrying about that, and here I am standing in front of the fireplace. A slightly nasty habit that I, w that I got into at the dorms was every time I was leaving my dorm, I had to check my pockets for my key. Now, it you're saying like, oh, that's a good habit to have because then you'll never lock yourself out. Well, it doesn't matter if I had just put and gotten my key and put it in my pocket, I had to pull it back out and check before I would close that door. Now that's good, but I locked myself out a couple times because I forgot to check. So it was hindering in the sense that I had to check every single time, but it kind of saved me some hassle in the long run. Another, uh, another habit that I got into while at the dorms was I would always eat at 5.30. 5.30 would come around like right on the dot, I'd have to go eat. Now it's not like I wouldn't have to go eat, sometimes I'd forget, or sometimes I'd have to go eat early because I had some other stuff going on. But I had trained my body that I would receive nourishment around 5.36-ish. Um, so that was another habit that I got into, and it was, it was kind of interesting to see that. What I want to make clear is that there's a difference between habit and schedule. There's, they're two totally separate things, and while habits can be schedules, schedules aren't necessarily habits. Let's consult the dictionary. So a habit is a behavioral pattern acquired by frequent repetition or develop, uh, or developed as a f psychological function and showing itself in regularity. While a schedule is usually written, uh, a usually usually written plan or proposal for future procedural, typically indicating the object proposed. Uh, the time and sequence of each operation and the materials required. I'm not gonna lie, that dictionary is 262 pages long, which is a palindrome number, and weighs about 11 pounds. That is definitely not light reading. So what we can pretty much get from this is that a schedule is usually thought out beforehand, while a habit is something more reflexive. You just kind of do it. And because you just do these things, that makes habits really, really powerful because even though sometimes habits are really hard to build up, like the good ones, but they're also really, really hard to break. But something you do have to realize is that you are the master of your... <laughs> and that sounds kind of funny saying it, but you really are. You are the master of your, your habits. You have the power to change them. You just have to realize that you can before you do. What I'm getting at is that you're not just handed a script titled Life and you just, you're just acting out a part. Life is just like this big pro, uh, improv play, and you just you just go with the flow. And while habits might set boundaries or limitations, you can change them. I have I have these habits that I told you about earlier, but I can change them anytime I want to. I mean, sure, I might they might be difficult, but the ones that I told you about aren't negatively in affecting me in any way. Another thing I want to say is that not all habits are negative. There, you can have tons of good habits, like that returning my, my keys to that their hook. It's a good habit because I will always know where my keys are. And while it could be a nuisance having to walk all the way across the house to put them there, 
I, I never have to think about where they are. They're always going to be there. And I, I've done that with several other things. I have, when I find something and I think, oh, where should this go? I have like a drawer of stuff that's like, oh, well, it goes in this, this drawer because this is what it belongs to. And that just makes things easier to find later on. And I, I guess that wasn't really a habit. But with my keys, I will always know where they are. And that's a nice habit. Now, I'm not trying to be like all preachy about like, oh, don't have bad habits, don't have good, or build good habits and whatnot. It's just kind of like be aware, be aware of what habits you do have. And if you have a negative habit that you don't like or it's harming in you in some way, well, you have the power to change it. And you also have the power to build good habits, habits that help you as a, a person, as a student, as whatever you are. That being said, I think I've reached the end of what I want to talk about, pretty much. So I'm going to wrap it up. So I will see all of you next Thursday. James, I'll see you tomorrow. Brandon, you're on Tuesday. And Danielle is on Saturday. Good night, everyone. Just a sneak peek. James says his... Blog's gonna be about New Year's resolutions.